Hi, we are picking up on our third day of Love That Dog. We are starting on April 12th, page 54. I don't agree that Mr. Walter Dean Myers might like to hear from a boy who likes his poems. I think Mr. Walter Dean Myers would like to hear from a teacher who uses big words and knows how to spell and to type. I can infer that his teacher is telling him that you should send your poem in to Mr. Walter Dean Myers and he's telling her, no, you should, she would like to hear from a teacher, not from a student. April 17th, let's see who wins. Dear Mr. Walter Dean Myers, you probably don't want to hear from me because I am only a boy, the boy one, and not a teacher. And I don't use big words and you probably won't read this or even if you do read it, you probably are way too busy to answer it, let alone do the thing I am going to ask you. And I want you to know that's okay because our teacher says writers are very, 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 very busy trying to write their words and the phone is ringing and the fax is going and the bills need paying and sometimes they get sick. I hope you're not sick, Mr. Walter Dean Myers or their family gets sick, or their electricity goes off, or the car needs fixing, or they have to go to the grocery store or do the laundry or clean up messes. I don't know how you find the time to write your words if you have to do all that stuff, and maybe you should get a helper. So what I am asking you is this, if you ever get time to leave your house, and if you ever feel like visiting a school where there might be some kids who like your poems, would you ever maybe think about maybe coming to our school, which is a clean place with mostly nice people in it? And I think our teacher, Miss Stretchberry, would maybe even make brownies for you because she sometimes makes them for us. I hope I haven't too much stopped you from doing your writing of words and fixing your cars and getting groceries and all that stuff. Just to read this letter, which probably is taking you maybe 15 minutes. And in that time, you could have maybe written a whole new poem or at least the start of one. And so I'm sorry for taking up your time. And I understand if you can't come to our clean school and read some of your poems to us and let us see your face, which I bet is a friendly face. My name is Jack. Bye, Mr. Walter Dean Myers. Oh, so now he's inviting him to a school. Make a prediction. What do you think will happen? April 20th. Did you mail it? Did he answer yet? That's right. He's asking his teacher if she mailed it and if he's answered. April 24th. Months? It might take months for Mr. Walter Dean Myers to answer my letter. If he answers it, I don't know. Until you explained that the letter was, has to go to Mr. Walter Dean Meyer's publisher company, and then someone at the publisher company has to sort all the mail, not just my letter, but hundreds and hundreds of letters to hundreds of authors, all that big mess of mail piled up, and someone sorting, sorting, sorting all that mail, and then the letters from Mr. Walter Dean Meyer's go to him, and maybe he's away, maybe he's on vacation, maybe he's sick. Maybe he's hiding in a room writing poems. Maybe he's babysitting his children or his grandchildren if he's married and stuff. Or maybe he has to go to the dentist or to get his car fixed. Or maybe someone died. I really, really hope someone didn't die. So if you ask me, it could take him years to get around to answering that letter. So I guess we'd better just forget about it, not count on it, get it out of our minds, do something else, forget it. What's one word you would use to describe Jack right now? Impatient, um, agitated, annoyed, April 26th. Sometimes when you're trying not to think about something, it keeps popping back into your head and you can't help it. And you think about it and think about it and think about it until your brain feels like a squash pea. I agree. May 2nd, yes, you can type up the thing about trying not to think about something but you'd better leave my name off it because it was just words coming out of my head and I wasn't paying too much attention to which words came out when. May 7th. Maybe you could show me how to use a computer and then I could type up my own words. May 8th. 
I didn't know about the spelling check thing inside the computer. It is like a miracle little brain in there, a little helper brain, but I am a slow typer person. Did you say there is a teaching typing thing in the computer too? Will it help me type better and faster? Tap, 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 tap. So my fingers can go as fast as my brain. May 14th, I typed this myself, is what he's saying. The sky, he typed his own poem. My sky. We were outside in the street, me and some other kids kicking the ball before dinner and Sky was chasing, chasing, chasing with his feet going every which way and his tail wag, wag, wagging and his mouth slob, slob, slobbering. And he was all over the place, smiling and wagging and slobbering and making us laugh. And my dad came walking up the street. He was way down there near the end. I could see him after he got off the bus and he was walk, walk, walking. And I saw him wave and he called out, hey there, son. And so I didn't see the car. Make a prediction coming from the other side way until someone else, one of the big kids called out, car! And I turned around and saw a blue car, blue car splattered with mud speeding down the road. And I saw Sky going after the ball, wag, wag, wagging his tail. And I called him Sky! And he turned his head, but it was too late because the blue car, blue car, splattered with mud, hit sky, thud, 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 and kept on going in such a hurry, so fast, so many miles to go, it couldn't even stop. And sky was just there in the road, lying on his side with his legs bent funny and his side heaving. And he looked up at me and I said, Sky, Sky, Sky. And then my dad was there and he lifted Sky out of the road and laid him on the grass. And Sky closed his eyes and he never opened them again, ever. We're gonna stop right here.